Hi, in this video we bring you two books for the price of one. Two books published on the exact same day, in the exact same year, by two different authors, both of whom were Stephen King. I'm referring to 1996's Desperation and The Regulators, or should I say Desperation and The Regulators. We'll show you what to look for when trying to identify first U.S. and first U.K. editions of the books. The U.S. first edition hardcover, trade hardcover of Desperation was published by Viking. It features this distinctive cover with a window on the back that shows a peek of the cover art for the accompanying book by Richard Bachman, The Regulators. Inside the jacket, look for a price of $27.95. Red end papers, orangish red end papers. And a handy dandy number line on the copyright page that includes the number one. Underneath, pretty handsome looking book with an interesting color scheme. Light blue boards with a tan cloth over the spine, printing embossed in red foil. Yeah, I've always been a fan of the color scheme of this book. The Regulators, Richard Bachman's The Regulators, published the same day in 1996, features a complimentary cover, and on the back, through a bullet hole, you can see images of the cover art of Desperation. Inside the jacket, look for a cover price of $24.95. This book was published by Dutton. And a similar style to this one, red boards with tan on the spine, printing um, the lettering in blue foil, and Richard Bachman's initials impressed into the front board. Stephen King's initials are not impressed into desperation. Blue end papers. And language first, trade printing October 1996, and a handy dandy number line with the number one. So of course, one of the interesting things about these two books is that the jackets, when placed together, form one unbroken image. I've always thought that this is really, really fun, and I'm still a big fan. The U.S. In the, the U.S. cover artwork is just super cool and definitive, in my opinion. The Stephen King author photo is a contemporary picture of Stephen King. The Richard Bachman author photo is a picture of Stephen King as a much younger man. The author blurb states Richard Bachman died in 1985, as we all know, from cancer of the pseudonym. His widow, Claudia Inez Eshelman, discovered the manuscript of the regulators along with some other writings in the attic of the Bachman residence in New Hampshire. Both Thinner and the Bachman books are available in paperback, the latter with a new introduction by Stephen King. I mean, at this point, this was a... It's a publicity stunt, but it's still... It's still a fun one, and an interesting one, and one I've always enjoyed. So, on the other side of the pond, in the UK, of Desperation and the Regulators, with complementary artwork, they are similar in style, both seem to feature, both feature, both do feature eyeballs, and have connections to each other on the back, but they do not form one single piece of art. And that's perfectly okay. One reason I chose to do this video with the two books together is on the back cover, it says the world's most terrifying writer gives birth to twins. So the books are twins, they came out on the same day, they should always and forever be 
lumped together. I think there's an argument to be made for that. Anyway, the first UK trade edition of Desperation was published by Hodder and Stoughton. You'll find a price inside the jacket. Um, it's not it's not as easy as you might think to find um, find one with a price. I looked for a long time before I found one, but down here in the corner with a clear line where it would be really easy to clip, price of £16.99, gray and papers, and once again, a handy dandy number line on the copyright page that includes the number one. Underneath the jacket, typical of UK books, there's just a single color all around, and in this case it's blue. The printing on the spine is in silver. The back jacket flap of Desperation um, advertises the regulators and points people toward the regulators. And the back jacket flap of the regulators points people towards desperation. Speaking of the regulators, Richard Bachman, the regulators, this sticker on the front says the regulators, Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman, right there. Luckily, it was probably wrapped in wrapped in shrink wrap and had some information like that on the cover, but the US one does not have a sticker permanently affixed with that information, which I, I prefer, but Inside the jacket, price of £16.99, kind of pale green end papers, and a number line that includes the number one. And this book was also published by Hodder and Stoughton in the UK. Well, I do prefer... Oh, before I forget green all the way around on the regulators and printing in gold on the spine pretty nice looking book while i do prefer the u.s artwork i i appreciate the uk has this kind of reflective foil effect which is it's a little corny but you know it's all right it gives it a little bit of pizzazz that it otherwise may not have but Anyway, yeah, that's the UK first trade editions of Desperation and the Regulators. So I first read, I first read Desperation in 1998 when I was 15. So it was a pretty new book when I first read it. And it was a really big book for me to read at that point in my life. And I remember, I remember some things about it. I remember the sheriff... I remember his strange utterances of things like tack and candy latch and stuff like that. Um, but what I remember mostly is that it kept me engrossed. I found it to be exciting and scary and a real page turner. And um, it is, I'm currently rereading Insomnia, which I first read as a teenager. And then after Insomnia, I plan to reread Desperation because... Um, it's one I really enjoyed, but I haven't read it in years and years. So I don't, it's not super fresh in my mind, but I do remember it as a very solid Stephen King. And the Regulators, let's see, I made a note. Oh yeah, the Regulators I did for the first time um, just last year. So it is pretty fresh in my mind. Um, one of the things I was really curious to see when I did The Regulators was if it would truly have its own voice. So releasing the two books by the two different authors on the same day is one heck of a publicity stunt, and it got a lot of publicity. But I wondered if that was all it was, or if The Regulators would have its own voice and be distinct enough. Um, and it does. I found the regulators to be quite Bachman-esque in its um, satire of of pop culture and technology, and it's it's crazier, but it's funnier 
and it's kind of more gruesome and um, has a lot of scatological stuff. Desperation May as well. Um, I don't really remember, but I found the regulators to be a distinctly Bachman-esque experience. And I understand that it started life as a screenplay that Stephen King wrote, um, anticipating that Sam Peckinpah may pick it up and, and make it into a movie, but Sam Peckinpah passed away. Sam Peckinpah, the famous director of The Wild Bunch, and um, one of my personal favorites, Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. Heck of a movie. Um, and I think Peckinpah would have been amazing directing The Regulators. But anyway, he passed away, so Stephen King adapted the screenplay, and it eventually saw life as a Bachman book. A very self-conscious, like, there's a huge distinction between the early Bachman books written when Stephen King was not famous and this one, which was, you know, it was an in-joke from the very beginning. But I still find it to have its own unique voice and its own unique perspective. And it is kind of a fascinating experiment that the two books share characters, um, but the characters are sort of similar, sort of different, between the two stories, they're like alternate reality, um, uh, a, a picture and it's negative, something like that, where they are reflective of each other, but they're different and they're unique and they stand alone. But anyway, I was not expecting to like the regulators and I really did. A lot of the things that I did last year were sort of my bottom of the barrel to get to the end of my to, to read list. And I, more often than not, I really liked this stuff um, last year and was really surprised, pleasantly surprised by that. But anyway, still one of my very favorite things is the way, the way the two books, you can stick them together and they form one picture. I think that, um, you know, worst case scenario, they are just a shameless cash grab and a publicity stunt. But I don't think after having read both of them, I don't think that's the case. I think that they are, that they are quality. The 90s, um, the early 90s were kind of rocky for Stephen King and then they transition into much stronger, uh, more fertile ground in the mid to late 90s. And Desperation and the Regulators, um, I think are, are great works in the Stephen King, um, the Stephen King universe. They're probably underrated, especially the regulators, but I'll talk more about that in another video on another day, but I'm officially rambling now, but forgive me. Um, I do appreciate your time and I appreciate your support and your subscription. And, uh, I hope wherever you are, you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Bye.